Hey guys, welcome to Tammy Time. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm basically going to be showing you guys my 2018 favorites or the best of 2018, however you want to word it. So I'm going to start off with my... I'm not going to start off telling you my favorite songs and my favorite music. So my favorite songs released in 2018 that I played all year long that played all year long was Cardi B's entire album. Cardi B, period. I just love Cardi B. Her favorite songs from the Evasion of, Evasion of Privacy album that I listened to was Ring was my favorite and Get Up 10. Other two songs I liked was Consequences by Camila Cabello and Sober from By I Demi Lovato. Those were like very touching and like the ballads. I just like the music. My favorite movies of 2018 was definitely Black Panther. I love that movie. It made me want to shave my head off bald and just, you know, be one with my culture. Also, I like the movie The Quiet Place. I don't have a third. It would be Infinity War, but I didn't watch it came. Now for my beauty favorites of 2018. 2018 was a year of discovery in the beauty realm, hair and makeup for me, or skincare, I should say. Oh, and makeup. So we're gonna start off with um, my favorite skincare products, because all beauty starts with, you know, take care of your body. My favorite skincare product of 2018 is this stuff right here Neutrogena's Deep Clean Facial Cleanser hands down the best cleanser I ever tried I have never ever 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 I use hella cleansers I have never came across a cleanser that I actually like and swear by this stuff has cleared on my skin like especially during my menstrual cycle I break out on my forehead and I get like little pimples I might insert pictures might not if I can't find it I, I, I don't have bad acne at all. Like, I don't have bad skin in general. I just have, like, some texturization right here. But my skin is relatively good. That's why I don't wear foundation like that, like that. However, I do break out because it's for normal to oily skin. And that's basically what I have, like, dry skin. But this stuff right here, when I say I swear by this thing right here, it literally, since I started using it, I have not broken out on my forehead yet. I also would break out here, and that's only if I forget to wash my makeup off or something like that, that I break out. It really minimizes my breakouts. Only thing I have to find um, something to clean my texturization of my nose. But pimples, this stuff works for me. I love Neutrogena, period. Period. My next skincare product that I honestly, truly love and I adore is the Cosmetica Pure hyaluronic acid let's see if I can get it to show the Cosmetica pure hyaluronic acid and the Cosmetica 20% vitamin C serum when I say especially this stuff when I use it all over my face it tightens up pumps up my skin because like my skin's on my forehead I can't even show you that's where is my problem area is this stuff I use this right before I put on my foundation not foundation right before I put on my moisturizer or night cream and it's honestly I saw my skin looking more youthful and everything and I'm not even old like but like like for real though so these are the two skincare products I swear by and I use quite a bit of skincare products, try to quite a bit of serums, but he two, these two things are the these two things are the only things I actually help seen actual seen improvement because I use cleansers all the time, never seen improvement. My skin was better, just something to clean my face with. But with this stuff, best of makeup products. It's just two palettes that I discovered. I bought in 2018, and I fell in love in 2018, and it is. The, the Juvia's Place Zulu Palette. Zulu Palette. I love the packaging, but not only the packaging. I love the color selection. I bought this. The reason I bought this palette is because me and my friend Daphne, we both wanted the palette. And I knew she wanted it really bad. So I got it for her birthday. While I ordered hers, I got mine in November. And honestly, since November, I use it in 90% of any time I wear any type of eyeshadow. I'm using a color most particularly this one these three on the top i bought it because i really wanted the yellow and i heard like really good reviews however the yellow 
There's some more flux left to on to me. But other than that, look how pigmented that is. Let me do the yellow. The yellow one needs work. But the orange. And as you can see, look at that orange. It swatches so good. That's why I use the orange. And the yellow, you can easily build up the yellow. But I was a little disappointed with the yellow, not gonna flex. But however, the palette, every other color swatches beautifully. And this year, like end of last year into this year, I'm trying to do more colorful looks. My looks are very natural, very basic, very safe, very, you know, whatever. However, I wanted, I definitely bought this because it has a bunch of fun colors. Really, only natural color is this one, for my skin complexion at least. And right now, I'm wearing, on my lid completely, I'm wearing this red shade. This, it looks kind of brown in real life, but this red shade all over my lids. Just a simple look with a little bit of color pop. My next palette I bought because I love me some shimmer is the Urban Decay Hard Metals Palette. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I bought... <coughs> I bought the Zulu palette from Ulta.com and I bought this in person at Sephora. I bought this, I might actually have bought this last, my last birthday. But I didn't get into starting to use it until to this year. That's what it looks like inside the palette. On this side it has, on this side it has really natural colors. Obviously I use all these colors all the time except maybe this pink one I only use it sometimes and on this side I love this side because of the fun colors it has I'm not a big color person like I already said but I already did a makeup look using the blue using the blue called dive that's what I wore on my birthday I love it I love it honestly it's so fun I love shimmers and obviously I think shimmers are pretty easy to get pigment to get it to like be pigmented or whatever because you can just swatch it like that and it already like shows but like still though it's like a easy it's like a easy palette i would use if you wanted both you know pretty colors that you can use to make glamorous you know looks also make fun looks with these and like exciting because you can still make glamorous looks or fun looks whatever you want those are definitely my two favorite palettes i'm not gonna swatch all of them because that's not what i'm here for it's not a review it's just i honestly love 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 those palettes but my favorite is favorite is favorite is favorite is makeup thing of all 2018 This stuff right here. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Because this stuff, oh, if I could only use one makeup product besides my eyebrows, it would be this stuff. But I, I like it to look more natural. I'm wearing it right now. You can't see from this distance. But in my vlogs, you can see my eye. You can actually see my eyelashes. And let me see if I can show you this. You see that? I love them. And I'm going to show you. I have a in my makeup tutorial that's coming up soon. I have a before and after, like I have one on this one and this one up close, so you can actually see the freaking difference it does. But this stuff, I love it. I'm gonna get a new bottle because they're not shit popping. They are shit popping, but they're not popping popping like when you get a fresh bottle of this stuff. Best of 2018 stuff. So thank you for watching. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so that you can see my videos because they might fall into you know, all the other stuff you know but I'm, i post videos every week i post sit down videos once a week and i post vlogs i post three videos a week one's a vlog one's a sit down video the third is a surprise let's go with that for now but thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video bye